conversations with Clan Hatton, cats and coffee with Ray McHatton. Ray, hi, good morning to you. How are you this morning? I'm well. How are you, Cindy? Doing very well. And I'm so excited. We got the very first edition. And it went well, is, though. It did. And this is our second installment. And I have my uh, Scottish wild cat from the Avis Field Center, Save the Wild Cat. So, coffee mug here. Nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I really enjoyed, I don't know if you did, and I was fun doing that with you. And I know we're just going to have so much fun this year doing Cats and Coffee. And um, last week we did a, a review of the Burn Suppers. We kind of talked about all of the Highland Games we're going to be attending this year and just mm -hmm. touched on some things for Clan Hatton as we get into this rhythm of connecting with people around the world. And um, yeah, and, and, and also just getting the word out about where we're going to be, what we're going to be doing. And um, the places we like to be able to see people and come here if you can't join us in person or come here as well, just because there'll be extra information. So last week was our very first Cats and Coffee. Wednesday, we had our very first On the Trail, and that was um, a recorded tour of the Glenmorangie Distillery in Scotland. So that's very exciting. So we'll be doing more of On the Trail. And for those of you who don't know where that came from, here's this little on the trail booklet and you might have one that looks like this. There's some that have a cover in black. We're in the process of printing more of these. These are really fun people like these. When you join as a member, you get one of these along with your Touch Knot magazine, which you don't wanna miss. And this is really fun because it has all of these clans, all of the Clan Hatton clans. There's 12 of us, just for those of you who are joining us for the first time. Klein Hatton is an association, was a confederation, the only one of its kind in Scotland made up of these 12 major clans. Ray, take it away. Right, so February is Farkasin month. One of our 12 clans is Farkasin, of course, so now that we're a week into February, we're, we're into it a little bit. Um, so for some of you that aren't familiar with what the confederation is, Probably everyone's familiar with one of the 12 clans, at least because you probably belong to one of the 12. That's the way you're watching us right now. Parkinson's one of the 12 clans in the Confederacy. I, I term it, because I live in New England, I term it uh, as I am a Massachusetts resident, and we also call ourselves New Englanders here. So each and every one of the persons that belong to one of the 12 clans also belongs to the Clan Hatton Confederation by default. It's a, you might call it an umbrella. Uh, it's not really overhead of anyone. It's just a, it's just a title that the Confederation has. It's a result of a document they signed over 400 years ago now to become a Confederation. And Farkasin is one. February is Farkasin month on Clan Hatton Association channel and on the Touch Not channel on YouTube. Yes, and we're so excited. And for Clan Hatton as well, we're going to be throwing in some Macintosh. We're trailing behind the Touch Not channel, and we were meant to highlight Macintosh in January. So we're gonna we're gonna sprinkle some Macintosh on our channel just a little bit here oh. and there to do some some catch up. Being a Macintosh myself, I need to make sure that we do that. But um, I'm very excited about our our topic of conversation today. Um, and would you like to go ahead and, and get started? And just as my preference, I referenced, um, we're talking all things Colonel Anne. And yes. for those of you who are not familiar with this, um, Rebel, Le Rebel, as uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie called her because he spoke French. Here's the book I'm referencing. Um, and this was written by Jean McIntosh Goldstrom. And I know that um, there's a couple more books out there. Robert Bain's Clans and Tartans of Scotland. There's lots of information on the internet. Um, Ray, how about, tell us where you got your information and just let, oh, sure. you, let you lead the discussion. Right, so, so people may not be aware that uh... This lady on the book that you just showed, she's a she's a Farquharson. She married she married the chief of Macintosh. All right, right about the, the 1745 rebellion. I'm not sure when they got married. Okay. Doesn't say Farquharson on the front, though, does it? People may not know it. She's a Farquharson by birth. 
that's her maiden name. Uh, right, so so the story of the Rodomoy is before before the Battle of Culloden, they they had Prince Charlie as a guest, or I suppose in hiding they call it at the at the Moy Castle or the Moy Grounds, the Macintosh estate. At the time the husband chief of Macintosh was off, he was supporting the government troops, the Royalist troops, the Hanoverians they're called sometimes. His wife was acting a rebel as that book title says she was. Uh, she, she rode around the highlands and, rode and, and raised the clans. Raised them means roused them and alerted them, uh, recruited them, you could say, on behalf of Prince Charlie, who was the opposing force against the Hanoverian troops. While he was there, they decided to uh, come and intercept him from Inverness, a large body of the, of the military, Lord Loudon leading them, I believe. The Macintosh's regiment was probably there too. There was three regiments or three bodies there uh, together. They marched towards Moy and Lady Macintosh, I wanna say Lady Farquharson. Lady Macintosh, she, she had five men go out to meet them. They sat along the woods and waited for these guys to come there. It was about midnight. A large body was coming, over a thousand men. Uh, they made a lot of noise. They fired some guns. They clashed some swords together and yelled and screamed as if they were many hundreds. And what they did worked. The whole body of that troop turned around, headed back for Inverness in the dark. They, they were, were successful. There were 1,500 mm -hmm. in that in that body. Oh, it's, it's absolutely incredible. I, f I feel like our, her story is so incredible to me. She was born in 1723. So at the time of the Culloden battle, she was only 23 years old. Oh, good point. She was very young. And she was born um, in Braemar. Her grandparents were John Murray, the first Marquess of Athol, and Margaret Murray. Um, and then her her grandparents were Lord James Murray um, and Margaret Murray. Ah. Yeah, Margaret Murray. Um, and she was the wife of Angus McIntosh, chief of Clan McIntosh, who who was the captain of the Black Watch at the time. And so this is very interesting because he was arrested and held by Prince Charles army yeah. for a time. And, and he actually released um, Lord McIntosh into the custody of his wife, <laughs> Lady Anne, which is interesting. Um, but okay. she was, she was known as Colonel Anne, and I, I I love that. I don't know if that was an official title that was given to her. The, the story goes that he that when he surrendered to her, her husband, he said, "At your service." She said, "At your service, Captain." To him, actually, and he said, "No, no, at your service, Colonel." To her, I believe that's the that was supposedly the moment when she was dubbed Colonel. Um, I know she didn't actually ride into the battle personally. Um, it's said that she watched from horseback uh, from a, a hill nearby. Yes, yes. Um, but, you know, I, I love this book by Jean McIntosh Goldstrom. She talks about going to the Culloden battlefield um, and going to Moy that time of year when all of this took place. And it was very windy the day that Jean was on the battlefield and I've, I've played pipes out there in the summertime and been very cold, <laughs> been very windy um, near the Cairn. But she talks yeah. about going out there on the battlefield and how windy and cold it was. And all she wanted to do was go back inside and not actually go out and toward the <laughs> battlefield. The same on the anniversary of, of the actual battle. And she just talks about how cold it is and how the Clan Hatton and the, and the Macintoshes would never be, you know, ones to go back inside. And so she forced herself to go out and uh, seek markers on the battlefield of where everything was. And right. as the route of Moy was taking place that um, Colonel Anne um, was notified by her mother-in-law who lived not too far away that the troops were heading towards Moy and in fact 
Yeah, and in and in fact, um, this is the mother to Angus um, Macintosh of Macintosh, the chief of the Macintosh, is also the chief of Clan Hatton at that time. And so, you know, people often wonder what side Angus really where his heart was, and if he wasn't also, you know, his heart wasn't also alongside Anne's in that, you know, with the Jacobites and um, just because of, of his mother's involvement in um, the notification, the helping and lending a helping hand. But of course he couldn't do that. And you can, you can see the clans where the chiefs were actually involved in that battle. They were stripped of everything. Mm -hmm. And this is something of course that Angus was trying to avoid. Um, because it wasn't just about him, it wasn't just about their home. It was about the entire clan and Clan Hatton and the in the Highlands. Sure, he had priorities to think about more than his own family. That's right, it was his wide family. Yes, and and um, leading of the whole of Clan Hatton. Um, but it's very fascinating. So if anybody has a chance to read more, I know that, you know, when the last two years when I've been at Moy in August, there have been um, some gentlemen coming in and maybe we can, I can try to have them come on um, the um, Clan Hatton site and, and give us a little update of what they've got going on. But they're trying to make a movie about Colonel Anne's life. Um, <laughs> Anne Macintosh or um, Lady Macintosh or Anne Farquharson, um, however you want to say it. I know that technically it is Anne Farquharson, um, but um, a lot of people don't know her or wouldn't know her as a historical figure unless you called her Colonel Anne Macintosh or Lady Anne Macintosh, and then they know pretty immediately who who she is. And yes. I, I think it'd be, it's just a wonderful idea to highlight um, some of the women, not only in history, but, you know, in, in modern times in Scotland too. So I'll be retelling that story on the Touch Not pretty soon this month too, that Road of Moy story. Oh, that's wonderful. And all the more reason why, you know, you need to get your Touch Not magazine um, and you can do that by, if you're not already a member, make sure you have renewed your membership for the Clan Hatton Association. And again, the link to the site's down below. And, right. um, or become a member and you will get this beautiful magazine. Ray writes beautifully. And so you're going to see in here um, his different articles and the things he writes about. It's very fascinating. But also you'll see other information. They have sections for um, nearly each and every clan of Clan Hatton, um, updates what's going on. So, so here you have about Methane Park um, and there'll be pictures. And then near the back, there's just pictures about what's going around, uh, around what's going on around the world in Clan Hatton. I can't talk this morning. I need to drink more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay it's very well put together magazine it really is it's a fabulous job donald mcintosh does a fantastic job putting it all together coordinating it all coordinating all of it uh putting up with us that probably sometimes <laughs> submit a little bit later than he wants to things like that he does he does a great job with it i know and i always tell him i'm going to submit something and i i never do i i throw pictures at him and that's pretty much all. so maybe this will maybe our youtube channel will kind of make up for that and and let people know what we're doing in the world where we're at and sure. uh, what and what's going on um so in terms of clan hatton you know we posted uh last week we posted all of the Highland games that you and I are doing. I've reached out and I'm trying to see if we have any others going on in the continental United States um, for 2024. So we can add that into the calendar. And um, what have you got going on this, this month? Do you want to talk about any of any, anything you've got going on? Sure. Um, first of all, on the, on the subject of Highland games, one, one other came up that um, since we mentioned some of them last week. Uh, there'll be another date we'll be at in Charlestown, New Hampshire. 
at a place called the Fort Number no. Four. It's a reenactment fort uh, from uh, a British fort from the French and Indian War. And they have a Scottish festival type of thing there every year now. They probably the fifth or so year. So we're going to go up to that. Um, that's going to be another appearance of what I mentioned is the No Fame Games. Uh, that's going to be the athletic uh, games for that event. It's going to be the No Fame Games. It's going to be something that people in New England will start to recognize. Uh, they'll be up there, and then they'll be at Milford, Massachusetts in June as well, like I, like I said. So as far as this month goes, on the Touch Not channel, we're going to have a few uh, what I call cattails and claw marks. They're little episodes I've been writing and putting together with some some still photos, some music. Um, I have two musicians on the touch knot with me, 14 and 16 year old McPherson's. And they're, one's a bagpiper, the other one plays a snare drum in, in the Scottish traditional fiddle. Uh, so they're doing the tracks for me on the touch knot channel. It's wonderful. And uh, I'm able to write some narratives. I pretty much, so, so you'll see the story I just said, only I said it on the fly right out of here then, but I, I wrote it down a little bit different. You'll see that version. Uh, with their music behind it or over it and around it, whatever you want to call it. A couple of episodes of Parkinson history like that, whatever else we can come up with, some tartan content perhaps. Um, I don't know whether we can get anybody on somehow to talk about Parkinson. Um, I also want to mention you had a book in your hand there a few minutes ago. This book, I don't know if anyone, everyone can see this or not. Uh, hold it up a little higher. This is the, book. This is okay. the 1715 Jacobite Rising from the Farquharson perspective, written by Stuart Farquharson. He's a friend of mine. This is on the Clanhattan Association website. Wonderful. All and right, so this is a great book to get about Farquharson. Uh, great gift for any Farquharson, and February is Farquharson month, so. I have the other couple other books here we can just show quickly, if you don't mind, that are on yeah, the no, website as well. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not sure the cover looks like this on that one, but this is called The Clan Fail by John McFall. It's an excellent one about Clan Fail. Actually, it's a Clan Fail or Mac Fail. The Clan Fail, I'm sorry. That's, that's how they, it's referred to. Commonly as Fail, not Mac Fail. These are available on the Clan Hatton Association website. And then this one, Tartans of the Clan Hatton. Yes. Okay, this has, well, just what it says. A lot of information about all the colors were wondering where they came from, why they so, some are so similar than others. And that's because we're, we're related folks. A 12 are related. That's why McBean might look like a Hatton or Verse Spicer and McGilvray, et cetera, at certain lights or certain fabrics. It's because they are related. That's why they're similar. And this one here, probably the final one on the website, The History of the Clan Macintosh in the Clan Hatton by Margaret Macintosh. I believe this was 1947 this was written. Yes. It's another good volume to get. That's a wonderful book. And I just want to give a shout out to John McFall, who's a very dear friend, also fellow council member. And yes. um, that is a beautifully written book. Um, I feel like I should go through, or we should, we can do it together, go through some of these books and take one book at a time, you know, at one of these um, little segments that we do, just because yes. it'll, it'll be great to go over, you know, a chapter in a book and, and really kind of highlight um, the chapter or 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 the book i don't know if we well as we as we get through this year we'll find out how much time we have for these things and how much interest people have which reminds me yes. let us know in the comment section down below if there's something you would like to know about if there's something you'd like for us to do or talk about um, we're very happy to take and suggestions and instruction as well alike and um mm -hmm. i i think that that'll be fabulous and i will um we will keep you informed if we're going to be able to have a special guest this month from the Farquharson clan. Ah, excellent. Fun. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we were going to be doing the Queen Mary games this month. We're now not. They have, unfortunately, as we talked about last week, canceled Queen Mary yet again, hopefully 2025. Um, yes. So there's not much on our radar until in, in person events until March. Ah. So we will be keeping up with you on that. Um, and we will link again to Touch Not YouTube channel. There's a he's 
Ray, you've done a fabulous job posting things there. It's great fun to go in there and watch the the segments you've put in there. Yeah. Um, and we'll link down below. You've got to put in at Ray the cat and you'll see that down below and then it's titled touch not but if you search touch not itself it might be a little difficult to find you've got to use ray's name to be able True. to look up with that with that site and then just throw it in your favorites along with the clan hatton association youtube channel subscribe please subscribe and then it's just going to pop up and you won't have to search for it ever again you'll just pop up and in your YouTube and, and away we'll go. <laughs> right. Please help us out. I'm, I'm 97. This, uh, 90. Please subscribe and help us grow. My goodness. Every, every day we get a few more and people are liking this and, and, and Cindy's right people about the comments. You know, we could go under the assumption that we're doing things that everyone likes, but we really don't know that until we hear back from you. So very helpful for you to participate and let us know what you think. Yeah, perfect. Ray, it's been a pleasure once again to be here with you this morning. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend around the world, and we will be watching your YouTube channel and to see what you're posting next. Please and, do. Yeah, and then we'll be right back here Wednesday with the On the Trail, another edition of On the Trail. So everyone, have a wonderful weekend. Ray, my friend, it's a great pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Touch not. Touch not. <laughs>